Fiocla, a little beggar girl, is looking for Terenti, a cobbler, and she asks everyone she meets. Uncle, where's Terenti? Along her way, she met Silanti Silich, that's a Christian. Uncle, where's Terenti? At the kitchen garden. Fiocla runs to the kitchen garden and she finds Terenti. Uncle Terenti! Servant of God, Fiocla, where have you come from? Uncle Terenti, Brother Daniel has had an accident. Come along! What sort of accident? What? Thunder? Holy, holy, holy! What sort of accident? In the cones cups, the Dinika has stuck his hand into a hole in a tree and he can get it out. Come along, Uncle. Do be kind and pull his hand out. How was it he put his hand in? What for? He wanted to get a cuckoo's egg out of the hole for me. The day has hardly begun and already you are in trouble. Well, what am I to do with you now? I must come. I must. May the wolf gobble you up. You naughty children. Come, little orphan. They comes out of the kitchen garden and walks quickly. Holy, holy, holy. The rain has begun. That's fine, Fiocla, old girl. The grass and the trees are fed by the rain, as we are by bread. And as for the thunder, don't you be frightened, little orphan. Why should it kill a little thing like you? We shall get soaked, Fiocla. There won't be a dry spot left on us. Ho oh, oh, ho, my girl. It's run down my neck. But don't be frightened, silly. The grass will be dry again. The earth will be dry again. And the same sun for us all. Holy, holy, holy. Don't be afraid, little orphan. It is not from spite that this thunders. They go into the count's cups. Terenti begins to slacken his pace. Where about is Danielka? Lead me to him. After a mile, they see Danielka and they come up to help him. A terrible lot of thunder, Terenti. I've never heard so much thunder in all my life. And where is your hand? In the hole. Put it out, please, Terenti. And finally, the boy's hand is released. It's terrible. How it's thundering. What makes it thunder, Trenti? One cloud runs against the other. The ducks flew by here the other day. Trenti, the, they must be nesting in the Ginelea Jamitsha marches. Fiocla, would you like me to show you the nightingale's nest? Don't touch it! You might disturb them! The nightingale is a singing bird without sin. He had a voice given him in his throat. To praise God and gladden the heart of man, it's a sin to disturb him. What about the sparrow? The sparrow doesn't matter. He's a bad, spiteful bird. He's like a pickpocket in his ways. He doesn't like man to be happy. When Christ crucified, it was the sparrow which brought nails to the senis and called alive. A Suddenly, a bright patch of blue appears in the sky. And Look! An ant heap burst open by the rain. They've been flooded the robes. You needn't be in such a taking, you won't die it. As soon as the sun warms you, You'll come to your senses again. It's a lesson to you. You stupids. You won't settle on low ground another time. And here are some bees. That's a swarm of bees. They were flying looking for a home. And when the rain came down upon them, they settled. If a swarm is flying, you need only sprinkle water on them to make them settle. Now if, say you wanted to take the swarm, you would bend the branch with them into a sack and shake it, and they all fall in. 
Fiocla frowns and rub her neck vigorously, and her brother sees a big swelling on it. Hey, hey! Do you know where you got that from, Fiocla, old girl? There are Spanish flies on some trees in the woods. The rain has trickled off them, and a drop has fallen on your neck. That's what has made the swelling. That herb is given when your nose bleeds like this flower. The children are interested to know how an engine. It's all the steam's doing, children. The steam does the work, you see? It's shoved under the thing near the wheels, and it, you see, it works. The Rente answered all the questions of the Nelka about the nature. Who would not want to hear about the golden may beetles, the cranes, the gurgling streams, and the corn mounting into ear? They sit on a river bank and begin to eat. They return to the village to test, but the boy still gazing and thinking about some question, but Fiocla could not understand.